Yeah, I really struggled with identity at the start because I felt that my true identity was my musical self. And that meant there there was a finite um, amount of things that were true to me in terms of, you know, 10 songs on an album or uh, demos here and there that actually got to the core of me. But um, then I started to realise that perhaps what I was looking for, perhaps I was looking for things that resonated with me in the wrong places in terms of I separated and isolated myself to get to this core, phantom core, when I should have been kind of allowing myself to to bed into society a bit more and kind of gain a, a musical uh, family. Yeah. So now I very much exist without music uh, as an entity. And then when a moment comes and it will just come and I can't, I can't sit there and try to write a song, then I know that it's pretty, pretty honest. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've had a discussion with somebody else about this the other day, where where I definitely I'm not a songwriter, so I I really don't know. But I think you do need to live life in order to to write decent songs and to to have them have uh, a more substantial meaning, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. And I knew that living a life in the studio in a writing room, doing a nine to five, and then going on tour was just not not sustainable for me at all. I think I would drive myself insane. Um, and in fact, some of the songs on the album were written when I couldn't write a song in the day, and then last minute, it arrived. So, there's a certain amount of suffering that we have to bear. I always see it as. There's so much doubt involved because you you pour yourself into something, you create something, and then you kind of have to throw it out there for pe- other people to judge it. So, so what what is the mindset for for you as a, as a creator? Well, I kind of look at it from a, uh, I guess an outside no, an inside out point of view, wherein I know that my existence is sort of not to blow my own horn in any way, but for anyone that's a creative and makes something out of nothing and makes a living from it, I think is just a mad concept. So we must have suffering in order to kind of allow or, you know, what's the word? Is it, is it, is it almost wanting to balance things out? Exactly, from all this joy, you know? I can't take it. <laughs> okay. There's good stuff happening and... and so I don't, I don't believe in the tortured artist thing. I don't believe that you have to have a miserable existence in order to make good music. Or, But I do believe that all artists are suffering somewhat because they're trying to get to that that middle, that point, that separate uh, kind of end game, which is, I guess, what is what I'm talking about with the clarity thing sure. and how each song is still the same. I'm just trying to get to the same outcome. So if I didn't suffer during that process, I don't know, I have, life would be too good. <laughs>